Ovarian fibroma is a stromal tumour composed of fibroblastic cells with a collagenous stroma. They are benign, usually unilateral, and they are the commonest ovarian sex called stromal tumour, accounting for between 1 and 5% of all ovarian tumours. And they tend to occur in women in their 50s. Ovarian fibromas may be an incidental finding, but they may present as an ovarian mass with pain, abdominal distension, urinary frequency, or sometimes torsion. And occasionally they may cause Meg syndrome in about 1% of cases with ascites and a pleural effusion. Occasionally fibromas may present with hormonal symptoms, for example gestational hypertension, as a result of fibromas that produce renin. Although fibromas tend to occur in middle-aged women, they can occur in younger women, particularly those affected by Gorlin syndrome, also known as nevoid basal cell carcinoma syndrome. In fact, around 20% of women with Gorlin syndrome develop ovarian fibromas, and these are often bilateral. Grossly, ovarian fibromas are around 6 cm in diameter on average, with a smooth capsule and a white or yellow-white cut surface. And here is the typical gross appearance of an ovarian fibroma. You can see it is well circumscribed and has a pretty uniform white cut surface with some yellow areas. Histologically, as the name fibroma suggests, these tumours are composed of fascicles of bland spinal cells in a collagenous stroma with ovoid nuclei and scanty cytoplasm. 10% of fibromas are cellular and there may be areas of calcification, hemorrhage and necrosis and some contain cystic areas and occasionally sex cord elements may be found. This is the typical histological appearance of an ovarian fibroma with bland spinal-shaped cells and abundant pink staining collagen.